3b what affects rain patterns of the Concho Valley location on the continent determines that the Concho Valley would be on the eastern edge of a desert and the western edge of prairies a latitude close to the equator determines that the Concho Valley would have a warmer climate compared to northern latitudes and then there's El Nino and La Nina that happen because of water and airflow fluctuations globally. When El Nino and La Nina occur, the entire USA's climate is affected. El Nino's jet stream causes more Concho Valley spring-summer rainfall, especially when a low pressure system is over the Four Corners region or when a low pressure system is over northern Mexico. La Nina's jet stream is much further north. Therefore, Concho Valley's winter is milder and drier than normal. Droughts in Texas are much more likely during La Nina. Tree rings might help show when the two fluctuations to the mean are occurring, but not necessarily there are other variables that affect rainfall. Hurricanes can cause a lot of precipitation if the speed, direction, and place of landfall are just right. In September of 1980, a tropical storm Danielle hit the Gulf Coast with all the right stuff to dump 6.22 inches of rain. And Danielle occurred when temps were at the mean, neither La Nina or El Nino. In October of 81, Norma had all the right stuff. 8.68 inches of rain on San Angelo. Again, Norma occurred when the temperatures were at the mean. In September of 2008, Ike had some of the right stuff to dump about three inches of rain in San Angelo and I concurred when temps were at the mean. Some other factors that affect global weather, which then affects concho weather, are solar flares and huge volcano eruptions. After super huge volcano eruptions, there are about five years of slightly cooler global temps. Krakatoa erupted in 1883. For San Angelo, average rainfall most months is less than two inches. But five months of the year, averages are closer to three inches. After volcano Krakatoa's ashes dispersed globally, there were seven great months of rainfall. 1883 and 1884 had more yearly rainfall than the 20 inch average. In the present, sometimes rain can be coaxed artificially. Clouds can be seeded. The clouds grow heavy with precipitation closer to the area from which the water had evaporated. In doing so, a watershed's evaporation cycles right back to its water donating land. There are several variables that influence rainfall. In West Texas, harnessing the rain variables and correctly combining them improves the economy and improves urban water supply.